It feels good to know that our industry is not doing bad because some different people are winning in different ways. And when they win like this, it gives us the opportunity to sit, to discuss their wins, their ways as well. And that is what we are about to do once again here on Showbiz Daily, live on Sammy Flex TV. My name is Sammy Flex, doing this with a crew of about four squad you know in the studio or on camera you can see Roland Amate from Shark Z Shatter Movement RolandReport.com and Roland Report on YouTube and that extreme and you can also see in Team Dodo Solomon you can simply call him Chemo Chemo is our online manager here at Flex Entertainment Limited, and again, he also doubles as the CEO of Intido so Digital Solutions to take care of all your streaming, monetization, and management online. And also behind the scenes, Teoflos Digos is doing camera for us for this show, and um, man like Bujilens is the editor. You on the other side, enjoy, comment, and also share with your people. And if you've not subscribed to us, please do, because here we are speaking real show business now we have some stories compiled for you we're going to be quick 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 snappy with them so we can all run away to do other things first story and topic number one for tonight is about a businessman who is showing love to his daughter for completing junior is it senior high school or Sen junior? senior high oh, school. senior high school well so i'm sure the lady at the moment will be in about 16, 17, 18, 18 19. Ah, okay, you were clear on that. Yeah. 18. Well, so I was going to be also, uh, I was going to get it clear because I was going to fall into that lane. So, 18 years old, she just completed senior high school, and the father is happy. And on social media, he has told the world that because the daughter just finished senior high school, he has deposited 100,000 Ghana cities into her account, aka. 1 billion old Ghana cities into her account. Social media is confused. While some are praising him, others are also dissing And I don't know why it is like that. In the studio, I'll get a view of my people why they think social media is washed with um, mixed commentaries over the gesture from a lovely father. There's a video that you can watch. When you watch this, we come back to do the conversation. Well, let me go start this with Chemu. Uh, because Chemu definitely will be giving 5 billion <laughs> by the time Chemu's daughter or son will be 80 years. That will be some cool years. And one yeah. million <laughs> will uh, so yeah. 5 billion into his account. Yeah. 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 So, what do you think about this? And why do you think social media is uh, mixed with attacks and uh, obvi obviously, recommendations as well? There will be mixed reactions. I, I'm not surprised about that one. You okay. see, uh, we, in, in this world, we have people who are more into show of and okay. not raising with whatever is happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we have people who are also against show off even when you have good reason to do that. Okay. So just based on that, people will have mixed feelings. We will have some people who will say, this is good, this okay. is that. Uh -huh. And then we have people who say, oh, this is bad, no matter the reason. So okay. I'm not surprised that we have that kind of mixed reaction. Some people firing him and others also praising him. Mm. But me, I'll, I'll go with those who are firing him. You go with uh, those who are firing, firing him? him, yes. Okay. And, and my and reason is, my reason is that I, I didn't get any reason why he is doing that, mm. which is really really important in this case. Mm. I would have defended him by saying, okay, I think this is a good gesture that some people can learn. But if you just come online. 
and then say that I'm giving my daughter uh, one billion yeah. for completing school. I mean, there's no sense in it. Mm. If you were saying that, okay, I'm giving her the money because after school she's starting a business. After school she's into something that I think one billion can help her. Okay. If you just put one billion in your account in Ghana here, uh, at the, uh, just after one year, you can calculate 10 to 20% out of it. Okay. It will not be the money that you give her again. Mm. And and if you have any plan for her at all, it should be continuing her education. Mm. So if you are like, okay, I'm putting one billion in my daughter's account because that's why she's going to use to continue her education. If uh, she, her results come out and it is good, she's going to university and I'm going to use it to pay her school fees or do other things. Mm -hmm. It will make sense. But just to say that I'm giving her one billion because she has completed school is, is uh, for lack of a better word, bogus. Mm -hmm. There's no sense in it. Mm -hmm. And she he, he couldn't explain anything for it to make sense or for some of us to even defend him yeah so so i mean those who uh, uh, are bashing him, bashing him or uh, even both of them I, i'm not surprised some people may not have any good reason to bash him okay. in fact if you ask them why are you bashing him they will not have anything better to say but they hate the idea that you have more money than them <laughs> the idea that you have money and uh -huh. you can display is even irritating. Mm. So for those people, they will bash you for that. As I said, and for those who will praise it, that is their thing. That's what they do. Only now five CD cry, only the baby the chest or five CD. Yeah. Yes. So for those people, they will think that this is the best way to display your money. But for me, I was looking for a reason to do that. To gift your your child such an amount of money, mm. but uh, the, the the father failed mm. miserably mm. without explaining any better reason for giving that money. You don't give people money like that. Yeah. So for her to just give money, for for him to just give her daughter uh, his daughter that money without reason, it it doesn't make sense. It is bogus. Uh, there is no need for him to do that, especially putting putting it on social media like that. Well, um, I know different opinions will surely be coming out of this conversation. And in Team Dodo Solomon has shared his. It is now time for us to also listen to what do you have to say and um, what you think will be the good and the bad out of this gesture. Roland Amate would also give 10 billion to his child because my dad now is 5 billion grand. 10 billion. Well, what do you also think about standard? Yeah, standard. I'm going to say to you, maybe I said yeah. Maybe I said yeah. Maybe I said yeah. Because I'm bad. I just said I'm wrong because standard. Well, for for me, I'm I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Well, he Chemo is saying he didn't give a reason. He gave a reason, but the reason is not making sense to you. So you don't see the reason. What did he say? The reason is that the child has completed school, uh -huh. and that's the reason. It doesn't make sense to you, but it is the reason. That's what I mean. It is the reason. Because I know so many people who... So, he's giving the money to her to congratulate her? Of course. Okay. Of course. It is just like somebody graduating and the, the, the rich father will say, I want to dash you a car because you've graduated. Mm -hmm. Somebody will I'll say, okay, house you, you. yes, you are, you, you are celebrating your birthday, so I'm just dashing you this or buy, buying you a house or a car or gifting you something. It's, mm -hmm. it's just like that. Recently, there's even been some form of new trends where people do birth, birthday wish list mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. come and post it on social mm -hmm. media. It, it will not make sense to you, but they are doing it anyways. What will you do about it? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Because it is their money and they choose how to display it and how to spend it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. He gave a reason. Whether the reason makes sense to you or not, it is not in your place. Yes, you may have your own opinion about it. And, and maybe your, your opinion may be better than his reason. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fair. But it doesn't negate. See, when Cheddar's wife was celebrating her birthday, Cheddar gifted her a brand new house and a car. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, thank you. I saw. Mm. <laughs> I saw. I saw. Oh, thank you. So, you have been in the group and say, I tell her, I'm a car. Oh, 
Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You won three generations. Complete. I'm going to do a free bet. You understand? So, so me, I totally get where the man is coming from. But then, like others are also concerned about, there is more to it. Because... It, is, it doesn't end with you only congratulating her for her writing her wasi or completing school. It is also about the outcome of that particular move. Mm -hmm. Because I will train you. The first thing we are training you. And our day manner. And your ba, now we are like, eh, 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 passing with the extension. Mm -hmm. What will you do? Then we will probably do more. And some people have a way of motivating their kids like that. For me, in class, for my dad got me a mobile phone mm. because he wanted me to be first in class. Mm. And I did it. And that is why I started using mobile phone at, at that early age. Okay. Yes, he promised me that said you be first because it was between the second and the fifth. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, me I will be first. I will be first and this is what I will do for you. After that time, mobile phones and gadgets were things that I love. Mm. And he said he would get me a mobile phone. And he bought me. Mm. Like I space for that and that that is the first thing I used, and it is it, to me it it was normal. Some people question he even had to go to the school to tell them that he bought the mobile phone for me, so they shouldn't seize it. And they shouldn't harass. They shouldn't have, it. exactly just that it was always on silent anyways because of school hours, and that is it. So sometimes it goes be they have reasons for doing it. The reason may not make sense to you, but to them, it is also another source of motivation to them. The only thing we can only tell them or question them about is to make sure these things that they do to motivate people land in a good light. Because for you introducing this to the child, mm -hmm. the probability that if you are not also able to guide her on how to even use the money, the money. Okay. yes, may also land her in a different light. I know people who, who were brought up in a certain way, and it's even opened their mind on how to make money. Shatawali is a typical example. Mm -hmm. He tells a story every day on how his father used to give him money, gives him money, mm -hmm. and out of that, it's even in his old age, he knows how to go around when it comes to finding money. Yeah. And it is, it is like that. You may not see it that, okay, maybe our money is counting on the committee has said, yes, the probability is over said, yeah, high. But the only question would have to go to the father to make sure that he can have the man or not. It is not just to show off because we I see more equity in this. And on the day we do equity. Papa. Oh wow. Oh yes, you may not know. This is social media. And on the day we do equity. But then my only my my concern is that it doesn't end here. After you introducing your child to this particular move, make sure that you are also able to guide them. On how to utilize it because I don't know the woman one billion, woman ten billion. Now we journey per mana. We all know the result on how this money will be used. Mm. And then said that the way I buy you should get a scan. Nasa, and and that's it. So me, I don't have it. It is not so much of a big deal for me if if a parent is gifting the child money because you see them every day. We see them. Oh, of course, we see them. When when mm -hmm. Kennedy when Kennedy remember, when Kennedy was getting married, Despite Simon was getting married. We also the kind of luxurious display that was made. Only the catcher say every year it is just our year. Only the guys are just one day ceremony or two probably two three days ceremony. And the those cars are unnecessary. You're paying no convoy of luxurious cars. Only the guys are there day. It is the same way. They have a reason. It's not the same. Way. You see, at the end of the day, I mean, at the end of the day, everybody, everybody has a reason of doing whatever they want okay. to do. Let's move on. Everybody has a reason of doing whatever they want to mm. do. Their reason will not make sense to you, okay. but to them, it makes complete sense mm. because, among if not for anything, it gives them some level of satisfaction, satisfaction. and that you can't take away from them. Yeah. So me, I, I don't. It is not so much of a big deal for me. My only concern is if he is able to guide the child on how to utilize that particular money mm. very well. Mm. Well, um, we still would want the lady to live her life. That would be of comfort, especially now mm. that it is obvious that daddy wants her to live comfortably. Mm. Uh, some of these things need guidance, mm -hmm. enough guidance. And the money, once again, Chemo was asking, what is it for? 
Is it for her and to buy for clothes? Is it for her to uh, go out with his with her friends? What is it? Or maybe even when we are killing our head over, it was just for steez. One of these things might mm. be the uh, real social thing. pressure. Yes, it might be for steez. Social pressure, just to keep us talking. But let's see how it goes. Now, in another news, I would also would want us to look at this story. Sonny Badu. After one year of telling Ghanaians and the world that before his concert, he was injured, which left him limping on his stage. Even during the day of the stage, he got some energy, threw his sticks away, went for interviews, limping. It's been one year already. And the gentleman is now showing evidence of his injury to the world. Telling the world that as much as many did not agree or did not even believe him, the story was real. And a church pitches me. <laughs> now, if you pitches me, poor, I'm always. So, I know I need. And now there are more. Mm. Well, you can be checking some of these videos. And um, he's actually put it in a documentary form on YouTube telling his story, how he suffered and uh, how people even thought he was joking and all that. I'm sure in your free time you can go check maybe one of his channels and you come across this video. Uh, really, really um, documented to tell the world. And in all, he's showing all these images in promoting the next event. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Are we to feel sorry for Ola uh, Sonny mm. and our agenda continua or uh, Aluta continua? Sp speaking of events, the new falls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it will be happening this weekend. I saw your yeah, yeah, yeah. t-shirt. Yeah, the new force will be happening. Oh, this weekend? weekend yes, at Saturday. The U yeah, UPS Auditorium. UPS Auditorium. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I've not been to any event there before. I mm. think this might be your first time. My first time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, it, it is it is an interesting conversation. You know, you know why it is very interesting for me. Mm -hmm. It comes across in two different ways. Yes, of course, one of them has to do with at the end of the day, what is the conversation about? The conversation still goes back to the promotion of the event. That mm -hmm. is one one of of the ways, and it is not a crime. Mm -hmm. The other one that makes it interesting for me is him telling the story. In fact, I for one, I am very happy he is coming out to tell stories, including showing of videos and pictures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, you see, so many of these things usually happen to people in the space. Mm -hmm. And there are diverse opinions about it. Okay. Me, I would want to take it from the angle of you being a popular person or a celebrity. And how sometimes people in the space treat you or react to things that concerns you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is very, very unfair. Depending on how you explain it or how you come out with it. There are so many instances where people, something happens to celebrities and others who probably may not belong to their camp or may not affiliate with them would chastise them, mm -hmm. tell their story in a different light, mm -hmm. lash them. We all know what happened to Dr. Sonny when he came mm -hmm. to say mm -hmm. he had a minor, uh, he had a, a no injury with a major surgery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in fact, he did not take it lightly in the space. The mockery that he suffered was bigger than even the promotion that he got for his event. Mm. Mm. That, and that is it. It is one of the, um, the occupational hazards of being a celebrity or a popular person. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in our space, people that may not understand you or may not affiliate with you, unfortunately, may not be able to connect with you. Yeah. And it will only take you to tell your story. And that is what he is doing. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it is about who would actually connect and understand what you are saying. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are few ones who may not understand. So me, I would just want to say sorry to him. Mm. I would want to say sorry. Sorry to him. Yeah, sorry to him. Why? Because uh, Be Because of the things he went through, Yes, still. What did he go through? No, I mean the, the pains. 
in the video, he was showing us the pains he went through. Okay. I, I've watched a couple of his interviews that he was saying, yes, even to the extent he even wanted to see whatever was they were doing to him when he went, like he was in surgery, mm. because he wanted to feel it. So at a point, uh, he said that, that even the night of the event, they, they did not even give him any injection as far as the pain is concerned. No painkiller, no medicine. So but he threw his sticks away. Yeah, he threw his sticks away and endured the pain. And he was ready to do it. So me, <laughs> I will tell him, <laughs> sorry for the pain. Sorry for the pain. And now that he's telling his story, whoever <laughs> may not understand him, he should not mind them. <laughs> Because they will not understand him anyways. And that is <laughs> one of the funny aspects of him telling the story. At the end of the day, so many people will not understand how or why you are telling the story. The things you went through in order to, for you to make these things go on, or the, the events come on, as you wanted, still did it, would not make sense to people. And that is one lesson that me I am taking from this particular move. Because... The way he's telling the story, of course, it is still giving some people more reason to doubt him. Mm. More reason to doubt him. And me, I cannot tell him how he should tell his story. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, no matter how you try to tell it, some people will still doubt anyway. Some people will still have different opinions, opinions about it yeah. anyway. It is just like a matter having an accident over the weekend. Mm. Even before he came out to do a video that he was okay, so many speculations came that people had even died or lost their lives mm. on the spot. Mm. I heard that. And, and even when he went on stage, you know, he still went to perform yeah. that same night. And some people were saying, why did you go to perform? He cut his performance halfway to, people are questioning him on how, on why he still decided to go and perform. They did not perform the full, uh, like the full length of his set mm -hmm. and decided to cut his performance shots. So no matter how you try to explain it, people will still have their opinions anyway. But me, I'll just tell him to focus on promoting the event. Mm -hmm. But if he thinks telling the story is also going to help him promote the event, why not? Aluta, continue agenda continue but i want to go back to chemo and ask that so the body was aware at the time he was being challenged about the truth in the story and i also want to believe that at the time so the body had these photos because that was fresh that was when the injury was fresh mm -hmm. i want to believe at the time the staircase or the steps that brought the cat the video or the photo he has today, they were all there. Mm -hmm. Why did he not prove those photos, images, at that time to disgrace his, shame um, his enemies. to shame his enemies, to right. put it in a better way, to shame his enemies or his doubters, that this was what happened. But wait until another event conversation has to start before all these things are coming up. I'm sure there's a legit question. Chao. Yeah. Would you want to try this? Oh, yes. Yes, I'll, I'll guess what is going on. Based on what he has done, I'll, yes. I'll try to guess what is going on through his head or yes. how he's trying to do this. Okay. First of all, I think he orchestrated people doubting him. Mm -hmm. And it was intentional. Based on what is happening now, mm -hmm. I think he orchestrated that. Because his first amendment was minor injury, mm -hmm. but he needs a, a major, major surgery, surgery. Yeah. which was a lie. Based on what he is showing now, yes, because it's based, it. yes, in fact, okay. it was a lie that he told that he had a minor uh, uh, injury. Okay, 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 I get you now. Yes, because what we are seeing, it's, it's not a minor. <laughs> it's not a minor injury. <laughs> so he orchestrated people to doubt him. <laughs> he yeah, orchestrated people to 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 have to go, yes. To get a cut of, of the so one minor. I yes, I get this story point. Yes, so for you to announce that you had a minor injury, mm -hmm. but you need a major surgery, it's a red flag for anybody to doubt you. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think he orchestrated it. In fact, he intentionally said that so that people would doubt him. Mm -hmm. And then again, after even creating a scenario for people to doubt you, you still had the opportunity. To show evidence so that uh, people say, oh, okay, I think we got it wrong. Mm. It was serious. No, he didn't do that. Mm. He kept all the evidence to 
uh, get uh, people out of the doubt that was happening at that time. Mm -hmm. For what? To keep it for another event. Yeah. So he's just continuing his antics or his style of That's what promoting. That's continues. Yes. So for, for me, I think, well, for those who will feel sorry for whatever happened that time, yes. I, but I think if you feel sorry, feel sorry that he deceived you. Mm. Don't mm. feel sorry that he went through pain and you were laughing at him. Mm. In fact, he made sure that you do that. Mm. Just based on, I'm, I'm basing my argument on what is happening now. Yeah. He had every opportunity to show it at that time for people to clear the doubt that they had. He didn't do it. Mm. And then again, the way he announced that he had a minor... In fact, we were even laughing at it on this set. Mm. Mm. Because you can't have a minor injury uh, with yeah, a, yeah, a, a yeah, major yeah. surgery. I mean, come on. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So for you now... To come out with an everyday minor could just be just something some like, small cut in yeah, you or something yeah, like that. that is but to get your two toes, the, the, foot foot like the, the kind of foot that you are seeing, that wasn't a minor injury, which will require major surgery. So and, and he said he was walking. walking. And all those things. Me, for me, I, I, think, I, saw, I saw the picture of the staircase. Yeah. Okay. I tried to picture it, okay, walking. Yeah, we all sometimes we yeah. we stumble. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. At this point, let us believe that he had the uh, injury that, that he he was talking he is talking about now. Mm. But the problem is that he didn't disclose it the way he's supposed to from the beginning. So he shouldn't be blaming anybody for doubting him. Mm. I think it's wrong mm. because he created that uh, scenario for people to doubt. Mm. And again. He had evidence to show that uh, what I'm saying or what I'm talking about is here. He didn't yeah. do it. Mm. And at that time, there was an event going on. So he used that to promote the event. Mm. That uh, controversy or people doubting whatever was happening to him. Yeah. He took advantage of it to do his event. And he's not ending it there. He is now trying to take advantage of the fact that there's an evidence that you were just laughing at him, but it was serious. Mm. He is doing the same thing again. Mm. So for me, I don't feel sorry for him, or I don't feel sorry for not uh, believing him when he said minor uh, injury by yeah, the medical surgery. Yeah. No, I still stand by my where I was even at that time. Mm. He is just playing games, and it's not fair to the audience. It's not fair to anybody who loves him. Yes. You can't just play with people's mind like that. It's, it's Are you emphatic on this, or you want to suggest? Just based on what is happening. Okay. Now, that's why I said, the, yes, yeah. uh, now showing evidence is giving me that confidence to say whatever that I'm saying now. Okay. okay. Those evidence were there from the beginning. Why yes. didn't you show it? Yes. So I'm just basing yeah. it on that. Unless he can come out and give me a better explanation. Mm. This time around, he will wait for another event and then come up with another explanation i will be like okay this one makes sense no if there's any better explanation i think we should do it now mm. on if we, we wait for another event it is the same thing he's just using whatever has happened to him yeah. in a bad way yes, 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 to yes, to yes. take advantage of his program or whatever uh, yes some people do that whatever that he's saying could be true mm. but he's saying it is a way that he will create some form of uh, a loophole for you to doubt mm -hmm. so that he will use it, you doubting it to do another thing. Okay. So he could be telling the truth, but he's saying it in a way for you to doubt him so that he can just take advantage of it at that time. And I think it is not fair to anybody who loves him or follow his, his music. Ah, oh, it happens but once. Um, thank God he is back to do the next concert. And I hear the next concert will be at the Independent Square yeah. because the stadium might not be available for him. Mm -hmm. And that it is going to be another free concert. So once again, ladies and gentlemen of the uh, who are lovers of the Badu ministry, get ready. This time around, we pray nothing will happen to <laughs> God. In fact, we pray no drama and of any sort will appear mm -hmm. and happen to the man of God. We are praying. In fact, we are brusque time to make sure everything will be fine. Now, because Chamo is not too sure about Dr. Sonny Badu's point, 
I want to go back to him and ask him about this, whether he'll be sure about this. Not long ago, and I pray that Buju will get a video to um, confirm what we are talking about. Not long ago, musician Stone Boy, Livingston Eche Satekla, was uh, in a radio interview, and he <laughs> said that there is something that he has realized as an artist, that the people like the money that they give to them. In fact, the people who are on the streets, they like the money that they give to them. But he has a challenge. His challenge is that when you give the money through spraying or throwing it to the fans, it comes with some dangers. It comes with some risk. And that, in addition to the dangers and the risk, he even thinks that it is disrespectful for you to see your fans following your car and you throwing money at them. Be beyond the danger, the risk and all that, he thinks it is disrespectful, though the people want the money. In fact, a few <laughs> moments later, like Pakarich has been doing, <laughs> a few moments later, two videos, two separate videos have come out with the same person who said it was disrespectful for um, artists or celebrities to throw money at fans has been captured doing same. One in Suedro and another here in Accra. And people are asking, oh, has the disrespectful tag been taken away from spraying money to your fans or spraying money to your fans? Has the tag been taken away? Well, the videos are here so that it doesn't come across like Sammy Flex, he hates the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Flex hates the boys. Mm -hmm. uh, the videos are there. That's what I'm saying. I pray would you get the interview where he said that then after a few moments later, he can follow it up with the two videos where Abuai was seen spraying money. What happened to the disrespectful time? Jamu, you can take this up to start with. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this one, I, I really don't know where to start and even where to end. <laughs> it's a hard take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the reason is that, you see, sometimes people can talk against something. Mm -hmm. Or they are not happy doing it, but they still do it. Mm. For different reasons. Mm. They will still do that thing. You see, we have sat here and 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 spoke uh, against or about the fact that there, there are dangers in oh, yes. three money. Yes. I think nobody As will ever, disagree yes. yeah, yeah, about that thing. Mm. There's danger there. Mm. That one there we, we all agree. Mm. And again, um, I believe you mentioned that any ways man goes through to make money, money there, yeah, there, there are risk yes, and they just there. There. yes. Mm. So that there, there's no issue about that. Mm -hmm. And again, we disagreed with the disrespectful part. Yeah. Because to call something that uh, disrespect, mm -hmm. uh, even apart from your action, there should be uh, we should know the motive of the person or how the person mm -hmm. why the person is. I am reacting that way. Mm -hmm. So you can only say it is disrespect if mm -hmm. you 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 have issue with the person. Okay. Like somebody is coming to take his money from you or mm -hmm. you owe somebody, somebody mm -hmm. is coming for the money mm -hmm. and then you threw the money mm -hmm. to the person. Obviously it's disrespect because well, it's 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 yes, <laughs> there's an issue with you and that person. Mm -hmm. That one, there's no uh, 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 argument there. We can all agree that that's disrespect. But if somebody loves you, based on your acts or your actions, you throw money at them, it's not disrespect. Mm. Mm. Especially mm. in African culture or in even... Uh, there are so many people who do that act. And they don't do it in the name of disrespect. Mm. They do it in the name of appreciating whatever that you are doing. Mm. And fans following you, giving you uh, whatever praises or giving you what we will call fans. Fans following you to give you fans. Mm. Your way of appreciating your fans could be throwing the money at them. Yeah. It could be the same thing because there is no intention of you saying that I'm just disrespecting you by doing That's not your intention. Yeah. So why then do you consider that as disrespectful? Mm. That one mm. to emphasize, uh, you can't use it. So I don't know why he would say something that uh, he's kicking against all way and way through, like, no, this one there is not cool for me, mm. but still he will do it. Mm. There are mm. two things that is in my head. 
one he want he just wants to acknowledge the fact that there's a risk in me throwing money at people okay and these are my reasons including even it be, me considering it to be disrespectful mm. but anyway since they want it i'll say through it mm -hmm. that's how i am trying to think for him okay like he is acknowledging whatever people will throw at him mm -hmm. but he will still do it anyway and there are people like that or there are certain things that you can say i disagree with it but i'll still do it anyway, anyway. just for shaggy reasons mm. maybe he also get something it may, it may not be satisfaction mm -hmm. but he get something from throwing the money for people to do whatever mm -hmm. so he may disagree but he will still throw it that's the only way i can explain it if i I take it out of that context. I I really wish that he will answer it himself. I have okay. no idea why he would do that. Mm. Because based on the thing that he said, uh, for me, I was like, no, okay, going for it, he will not do it again. Not do it again. And, and he has every right to take that stand. Yes. And um, somebody like Sarkodi, I've never seen him commenting yeah. about this thing yeah. at all. Yeah. And he doesn't do that. Mm. Mm. No matter what you say, I've never seen him doing something like that. Mm. So you can just take take a stand, mm. or you can say whatever negative about it, but you still do it anyway because there's a benefit of doing it. Mm. And he is the only person who can explain that one. Apart from that, I don't know how to, I mean, situate what is happening here. I really have no idea. I see. Um. Before Roland comes in next, I want to even say this that maybe Stone Boy knows how he does his throwing. That is why he sees higher risk in it. Because unlike Shatawali, who does it in droves, in bundles, you can still see the fingerlings in Stone Boy's throwing. So, for instance, what I watch from um, uh, the Kaukudi Park. Yeah, the Park. I saw Stone Boy throwing some one, two, three notes. And if I see the number of people going to fight for the three notes, <laughs> I say, ah, oh, this is risk. <laughs> but, that, <laughs> but the other one, like, it's still plenty. <laughs> it's still plenty. So this one going there, this one going there, this one going there. But the three and the energy people are going to use to fight. Maybe I understand the risk that he saw and the disrespect. Maybe now I get it. Yeah. But why would he still continue, though? Another big question. Why would he still continue? Well, Roland, yeah. take this up. Well, for me, um, when, when I also saw the video, in fact, I, I laughed because mm. it just took my mind back to the statements that he made. You know, what he said that day, and some, I mean, some of the points that he raised that day are mm -hmm. similar points that we've spoken about, mm -hmm. in fact, here and even on other platforms. Okay. But what actually made me disagree with him, or the part where I disagreed with him, was when he said it is generally mm -hmm. disrespectful. And mm -hmm. here it is in quote, mm -hmm. generally mm -hmm. disrespectful. We, when we want to generalize something, then it means that in all things being equal, in every circumstance, you have majority agreeing to whatever notion you want to drive. Okay. And if it is in that sense, we want to target as generally disrespectful, mm. then he's absolutely wrong with that assertion. Mm. Because generally disrespectful means whether the circumstances is good and I throw it, mm -hmm. it is wrong. Mm. Whether the circumstances are bad, and I threw it. It is wrong. Mm -hmm. That is what we mean by generally. Disrespectful. That means even if we, we want to put it in every situation, we will still get that wrong in there. Yeah. And in yeah. that sense, he that particular statement, whether he he would continue to emerge in it or not, was still wrong in, in that sense. Mm. Because yes, he may not probably continue to do it again, but there are others. In fact, more top people or people who probably belong to the same culture he's, he belongs to that do not share the same opinion. Mm. Mm. 
because they have a different belief. True. That's what that's the reason why that time I said that. Yes, you may have your own belief, you may have your own knowledge about something, mm. but trying to generalize it as people's opinion when that is not the situation mm-hmm. is wrong. Mm. It is like and this one, it is like you shooting yourself in the foot. Mm-hmm. Because if you tell me it is genuinely disrespectful, this is one of the ways. And here, I'm sure he will tell me that this is a different circumstance. Mm-hmm. This is a different situation. We tell me a different intention. And in that sense, then we can't generalize it. Mm. Then in that sense, we can't generalize it. In fact, even the people who do this, the people who throw money at their fans or people who would want to honor people with money by spraying on them, always caution the people around when they are doing these things. It is not as if they don't do it. They do it. Mm. But you see, like we all know, the quest to get money, the quest to do every, like everything to get money comes with some level of risk. Mm. 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 Yes, we can all point out the dangers. Or we want to say, okay, we will, we, yeah, you will not say, oh, my business is You think they themselves, they don't know the risk involved? Because I can tell you that somebody can throw money. And you can have about five people standing there, and every one put three and a four, and then there are two put them back on the No mama can no more say. And you think they don't have any, their reasons? They have their reasons of which, if you ask them, all of them can give you reasons that may be part of the conversations that we've been having as far as these things are concerned. Yeah. And if you see come up with any of the other things out, if you go to weddings and they throw, you go for events and they throw. It is not everybody that even goes to take such money. Because everybody, yes, exactly, exactly. Every enter the canal, your belief and your knowledge comes to play the moment you want to indulge in some of these things. Yeah. So if he wants to tell the dangers, of course everybody is aware of the dangers. But if you want to preach another thing, just to make you look wiser or good, then he should come again, because this is just like. Many Arnold statements now can you see your pa consistently inconsistent <laughs> because <laughs> because because uh, you see there's something that you you yourself is saying and you even give a caution that moving forward you won't even do it yeah so um maybe I'll pardon him because well maybe he got carried away mm. and it is one of those so things you can mm. use a technical thing what it is cognitive. Now, 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 in wrapping up, we are wrapping up for the day. Um, I hear Mansia has, um, uh, and then Mansia did not accept mm. the apology from uh, Fia Pokua mm. and her gang and her people. And I don't know what you guys say. Um, there are photos and videos of mm. Fia Pokua who was on her knees throughout the country. Mm. I'm sure at the point. Her knees was really hurting. Oh, so yeah, yeah. She had to bend like this, and the bend alone <laughs> has created another <laughs> and controversy. Some, of, some of the yeah. producers, some of the shows have sitting on the floor <laughs> and everything. <laughs> <that day. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my word! Oh, what does it mean? Um, I hear they are saying she shouldn't come there too again, <laughs> and that um, uh, today I was reading a story. And the story says. To the Ashanti, okay, not to the Ashanti, to that particular palace where mm. they went to. When you come there with your issue, like mm. an apology, mm. and not everything that they will say, okay, we've heard or mm. we are going to admit mm. to it. Some they will not take it. Mm. They will not also do do anything yeah, to you. I, I, just go just with go. it. And I I listened to the chief's statement, and it is similar to what you just said in, mm. in the latter. Yes, he he said he. Of course, they are within. It is within their right to accept your apology or reject it. Mm-hmm. The fact that you are apologizing doesn't mean they should. They are obligated to accept your apology by mm-hmm. force. Mm-hmm. Your sometimes people are slow in accepting apology, just because there are certain things they want to see. Mm-hmm. Some people have the uh, temperament of hurting you, coming to apologize, and repeating it again. Mm-hmm. That is why some people would also be slow to accept apology. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes it is not you apologizing now, but it is what you do after the apology that matters. Mm. 
If you apologize and you go back to disrespect me again, then there is no need for you to even come and apologize. Mm -hmm. The real apology comes from you. It comes from whatever you do. Not me even accepting. Mm -hmm. I can choose not to accept, but your actions can tell me whether to let go of it completely or whether to co still continue to hold that grudge. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe that is one of the wisest decisions they, they took as far as this particular case is concerned. Yes, if the party involved, that is the Unia and the Fia Pukwa Dems, see, like, the, if they see this as a punishment, they should rather see this as one of the lenient ways they dealt with the situation. I see. Yes. One of the lenient ways they, they dealt with the situation. Because, you see, the thing is that they can't hold them, hold them to, to whatever they've said. Like, the punish if they want to punish it, that punishment will not make sense under the laws of Ghana. Mm, mm. And uh, in 2024, and they would want you to reform rather than just accept your apology mm -hmm. or acknowledge that oh you say you are sorry. They would want you to refrain from those actions. Okay. That is more important to them than than them saying okay bring fifty uh ship or bring this or that. That is more important to them. I believe it is one of the reasons why they decide, but they will not publicly come and tell you that we are rejecting the apology because we want you to refrain or reform. Mm -hmm. But they would want to give you that. And if you are wise enough, you will know how to play your cards moving forward. Okay. And that is it. Because they can't punish her, punish her and say, we are even banishing you from, from coming to Kumasi. It is not possible. In 2024, it is not possible under the laws of the country. But these are some of the ways that they can also um, indirectly punish you a bit and also help you to refrain or reform from whatever you think you did. So, me, uh, it is within their right to accept or reject. But um, the people should just, uh, like they said, they should go and see no more. Or they should carry their most well and go. They should go and continue their business. Okay. Now, on the other hand, Efia Schwarzenegger has also suggested that Mona Foreo and Efia Pokua... I mean Mona not, uh, Sorry, Mona Gucci and Efia Pokua did not do well by going with someone like Kum Chacha. <laughs> Efia, Efia Schwarzenegger thinks that, ah, you, you are going to Manchia Palace to apologize and with all the prominent people in this Ghana, you couldn't get any of them to go with than Kum Chacha. It's the reason they did not even accept the apology and they've sacked you guys. Next time, look for the prominent people like the Despite, like the Dr. Foris and no, those, no, no, no. those. Is that my, whether they have time or not, if you have things, these are the people you can go with to Manchia to apologize. Those people, when do you see them? No pair. Oh, and they are a humanist. Hey, boy, you come back. As you were in the name, and you are that's what it yeah, is saying. Yeah, yeah, let's put the pieces together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an interesting one. Mm. Um, they don't know that the punishment for her is not to accept the apology. The Some people are not getting it back. Okay. They know what they are doing. In fact, mm. even when you watch the video, there's a part that the, they were asking, say, also, oh, you're Kwauni. And now, Kwauhini, I know you too for a year. Eh, now for like a minimum of her power, and then Kako Hinia, I too both for my Sabia, Menana, and I be on my catch of my. They were weighing all those things. Mm. Say, mm. are you really even telling us the truth? Mm -hmm. Because, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Kauni and Passa de Okana, and Kasim be saying, oh, but I go catch it, oh, he may say, Nana, Mafuna. So we knew two for a one and for Fadia. Koka be bitter and mammy. Nanga, Kawina, Makrana, or Zubi Tubo for Edwati about the Kambia Mount. They were looking for that kind of legitimacy or that kind of credibility to know that, okay, now they have gotten the message that we want to send across. Yeah. So if you don't do that, they, they won't accept it. There are so many factors. But it's not about Monaguchi and then the Kum Chacha thing. And they said, if you are not in the view, you know. I know, right. <laughs> they are in the view, you know, you know. Mm. So people should look from that angle too. It's not like they just want to show, show her where power lies, like the way some people are interpreting it. No. 
not at all. Even if that's their intention, it's not like waka windy a bit to work on an ABB. So I'm not for a video me ya or he make a say. So Oba not say a case yen ya yen ka say yen in tea be you be you exactly. Come back be you are not me as a so when you go with your conscience and whatever and anything happens to you. No, sir, your mm -hmm. action is not high. You know, uh -huh. your action and a be a do a good visa. It's all part of the punishment, but mm -hmm. people are not getting well, it. To be, it will be heavy on oh, you. Oh, yes, you, you and I all. Heard even that, my share, some people wanted to attack her and all that. Yes, so it, it's that kind of thing. And again, there are the, the, that the idea that, okay, sir, oh man, yeah, what can I do to make things better? Mm -hmm. So even in your daily actions and your activity, mm -hmm. you'll be advising people not to repeat mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. action. Mm -hmm. It's all part of mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. people should come down. I mean, social media, they will know. We know. And then the hustlers are also there yeah. doing their own thing to make money out of whatever is happening. Yeah. And uh, I've seen some. I've seen a lot of it. And even, even on our platform, I saw a comment of somebody also trying to just take advantage of what is happening to say things that you shouldn't be saying. The point is that uh, the Mencia people, the Ashantis, the Utufo, were not doing anything to provoke anyone to say whatever. Mm -hmm. The lady went on her way to make that comment. Mm -hmm. And I comment now, make it here. Anyhow, I conclude in the car. After saying all that, you want to say now, more for my scientists and videos. Like, there's no, no link there. Yeah. So, me, I will add others not to go for some of this. Like, don't support somebody behaving like mm -hmm. this. Yeah, and it is not about that. It's more about Ashantis. You can do it to other tribe. Yeah. And so, you don't just. Say, say, uh, as I before had been to the young cast and chair or more or BB, uh, and not any other type of BI, and will not help. And again, some of these comments, you know, I erupt it into wars and other things. Yes. We don't want that. They are very volatile. Yes, yeah. they are very volatile because of that. So, yeah, you call correct insult media, social, uh, especially TikTok. I'm, I'm a yeah. Yes, wake up, and people are saying all sorts of things. I am in here. Obina or Tinibe Bina and I've been in Morocco can be Bina or in the Indian. Even if you are also against Ashantis or any other tribe, this is not time for you to also come out. Mm -hmm. Because in that sense, uh, you are supporting the Wayano. You are Obia Tinibe B. Yen Adia. So why then do you Obi Koye be Bina Yen and I generally we see that this is wrong? Why don't we just deal with the person, you know? Instead of you now basing on that, they say, hey, as on the phone, come on, do what can work can. Then then they like, I see them in Agola. Ah. So you are behaving like the lady name because it's like as on the media makers, lady now can to who deny us now so they are just Obi. Mm -hmm. There's no connection here. Yeah. What is it? Like, why are you going that direction? And that thing will not help anybody. And the sad part of it and the cognitive dissonant part that we are saying, some of these people, especially those outside, mm -hmm. they will be crying racism and other stuff. <laughs> like, it is so pathetic. Like, when you think about it, if you are really thinking, this is the last thing to even Consider. consider or push say why can't why can't one 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 let us say that we don't encourage people making such comments if an individual mess up or if an individual do anything wrong with you don't consider the person race before you say whatever or the person's tribe deal with the person one on one yeah the offense or the offender no committed. yes deal with the offender don't generalize and Make a comment that you just want to put everybody in. Say, Obi Ayan Bonnie, or a Dini, or a Enkrimi. So, that doesn't know why you are. No. <laughs> <laughs>
time later. time I think it's a typical example that mm. people should know. Mm. Typical. It's so typical. Eh? We 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 had some uh, uh, exchanges with somebody yesterday. Uh, yesterday, and it's an interesting. It's so typical of what we are talking about mm. here. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so me, I will encourage people to deal with people individually when somebody do whatever and you want to make any comment don't generalize it because you know their tribe or you know uh, where they are coming from and that's how they do that it doesn't work like that and a comment like this may cause more harm than good you you think that it's just uh, nothing whatever whatever but if you don't take care some hustlers are looking for this to make money or to cause mayhem okay. so we shouldn't encourage it for them to get the opportunity well, this is how we end today's edition of Showbiz Daily. And Fia Pukwa is still getting some cool amount of fans and following <laughs> yeah. because of her voluptuous body. <laughs> People are saying, sure, it's by the chips bar. Why did they insult her like that? Say yeah. she's ugly. Uh, why is this ugly? No, this one is not <laughs> one you can call ugly. Well, Chabo, what advice would you give her? Yeah. Uh, now that she's been left to her fate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the emotions, the trauma, and all those things. If you are to I advise think, her, what, what I think she mean? should lay low for now. Okay. The social media thing there. People are were just looking mm. for opportunity to do this. Mm. And again, they said certain things that the chiefs. Mm. They said certain things that she can. Uh, uh, they are trying to give her some some apple. Apple, but yeah, if they she is no, they were not. They won't be direct. Mm. So if she takes that uh, advice or the people who were there, okay. if they take that advice. I think it will be an issue that they can easily resolve without even okay. making any noise or for yeah. it to come out the way it is. Yeah. For her to be at peace with herself. Mm. If, that, if, a, if she's looking for, for that. that uh -huh, if she's looking for that. Mm. There's a way for her to achieve that. And mm. it will have nothing to do with what is happening on social media. Okay. So I hope she will take that advice on Tips. the clue that they were giving mm. for her to do the right thing. And for her, she will be okay. As for the social media, we, we should just, she should, she especially should not uh, have that temptation of responding to somebody or doing yeah. anything else. Mm -hmm. Because people like our uh, own Fia Schwarzenegger and others there, they, they were looking for some of this thing to do Fear, their thing. Yeah, because yeah. in short media, that's what they that's do. What they anyway, so she should lay low do whatever that she needs to do mm. uh, behind the scenes mm. and she'll be okay with herself or even people around her that's that's what is the most important thing yeah well i'm sure now we can draw down the curtains here on showbiz daily live on summit flex tv enough shared enough learned enough knowledge and information on this platform and especially when it comes to showbiz daily you get to listen to roland amate Shagzi Shatter Movement Empire, Roland Report on YouTube and RolandReport.com. And in Team Dodi Solomon Chamo, also Summit Flex TV, online manager, and in Team Dodi Digital Solution. Meanwhile, man like Tiflos Digosh, thank you for doing our camera for us. And Buju Lens, thank you for putting together the pieces. Until then, we meet again. Subscribe to us and um, let's read your comments on any of these topics discussed. My name is Summit Flex. I see you and I see you out of here. Bye-bye.